Hi, Caden. Hi. Start when you're ready. Right. I'm here because a minority of of individuals have chosen to avoid the rigors of the scientific discipline and attempt to backdoor an agenda by enacting a political strategy. Pressuring textbook publishers after a mainstream scientific consensus has already been established is more than counterproductive. It's offensive. This is clearly a radical religious-based agenda, and to further illustrate that point, let me quote a federal judge, a moderate religious Republican appointed by George W. Bush. Intelligent design is an interesting theological argument, but it is not science, end quote. Yes, theology has butt heads with science, scientific progress throughout history, but science should always prevail, and I'll tell you why. It may be inconvenient to your personal beliefs that life on this planet evolved and that no compelling evidence has been demonstrated to the contrary, but the evolutionary theory has accurately predicted testable and falsifiable conditions and contributed to the well-being of everyone in this room. We see, we've seen benefits in agriculture, genetics, geology, biology, and virtually every field of science. Evolution is literally who we are. The next time you need medical care, your life could be saved because of the science of evolution. It is our history and it is our future. Those who have problems with this theory should have the courage to take their issues to the appropriate arena rather than risk stunting all of our prospects by politicizing their sensitivities to reality. The choice is simple. If you face a life-threatening emergency, do you want the care of the modern ER or the barbaric clinics of the days of, say, Thomas Aquinas, the 13th century prime mover of the creationist philosophy? Like virtually every attack on evolution, its perpetrators are desperate to prove what science is too modest to address, supernatural causation. When it is demonstrated that supernatural causation can yield good education or a positive result in the medical field, you might find me thinking an ethereal entity. Until then, I'll thank my science education and my doctors. Let's not win a Darwin Award here. Science textbooks should reflect the current scientific consensus, exclude history deniers, and be free from religious bias. Thank you. What grade are you in? Uh, ninth. So oh, freshman. And you just spoke to all these people. Yeah. Good job. Okay. I'm a bit nervous, but you yeah. did great. All right. Thank you.